County father was sentenced today for the death of his four year old daughter. So prosecutors say that child died from being denied proper nutrition and medical care. Brittany Harry continues our coverage live in Batavia. Brittany. Well, yeah, so this is a case that we've been following from the very beginning with the child's mother being sentenced last month. And today the child's father, Christopher Ho, was sentenced and he spoke out for the first time saying he's sorry about what happened. The court is going to impose the agreed sentence of a minimum of seven years incarceration with a maximum of 10.5 years of incarceration. That's the sentence handed down to Christopher Hope today. Before that, he spoke out saying he's sorry. A lot of carelessness and uh, laziness is what causes this. It should never have happened. Very remorseful for this. Hobe pled guilty to involuntary manslaughter in connection to his daughter's 2022 death. The four year old's mother, Tamara Banks, who also pled guilty to involuntary manslaughter, was sentenced to 13 and a half years last month. The child, prosecutors say, was fed mostly Mountain Dew through a baby bottle. The coroner ruled her cause of death diabetic ketoacidosis. I take it very seriously because my mother had diabetes and passed away from that as well. Hoba brought his daughter to the hospital for treatment, according to his attorney. Prosecutors say while they appreciate Hoba taking responsibility for his daughter's death, they can't ignore the neglect the child suffered. She is no angel. I, I, uh, I was very blessed to have her in my life. Uh, I just wish there was anything I could have done to save her. I, I would. I, uh, I'm very sorry for everything that's happened. So again, Hope will spend the next seven years at minimum behind bars. He also said in court today that he had no knowledge of another child of Banks who uh, suffered some sort of similar incident as unfortunately this child who passed away. So you might remember that I actually spoke to Banks' son. He says that his brother suffered a similar situation back in 2011. That is what Hope was referring to. Again, he said he had no knowledge of any of that. For now, I'm reporting live in Batavia, Brittany Harry, Fox 19 now.